What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Today, guys, we're talking about Latoya Ali. Very popular YouTube channel. And she had a channel that was called Latoya Forever. And on that channel was her Tanzanian Canadian husband, Adam Ali, who is also a huge YouTuber in his own right. And they made an incredible brand together. And there are three lovely children, right? It was something to see because number one, a lot of the people that I see from Black Canada are in interracial relationships. So it was interesting to see a Canadian couple that was together, right? I, I first thought they were an African American couple, but then no, they're a Canadian couple. And then they had an appeal, a huge appeal to the American audience. They're young, they're black. Um, you know, a lot of women would consider that Adam Ali is fairly attractive. The guys would consider her fairly attractive, right? So it was good to see young people, especially in Canada, which is dominated by whites, uh, that they would be in a relationship like this. A lot of us were, were, were very proud of that. But unfortunately, Adam Ali filed for a divorce because he saw that's where it was going. Apparently, his wife said that she wanted to be for the streets. And she cut her hair off, which is hmm, what a lot of women do when they get ready to start thotting it up. But and then she relocated to the Atlanta area, or at least it's speculated that she's going to be going there because she wants to expand the brand of, you know, single motherhood and um, being a no talent and thotting it up. Like, that's just really what a lot of women are trying to do right now. Um, let's get divorced. Let's wop it up. Let's, you know, go out and embarrass ourselves on reality shows. Unfortunately, there is a good percentage of sisters that are doing stuff like this. Now, she has let the cat out of the bag here, family, on, um, on our YouTube channel about how her kids can feel that the toxicity and of course she's she's blaming probably indirectly the husband for it okay and um, and she misses him as a business partner but she doesn't feel the love there anymore And, and see, this is the hard part about marriage that a lot of people don't understand. And this is what's wrong with a lot, a lot of the people, in my opinion, in the black community. Marriage is not about feeling the love anymore. Marriage is about sticking through it and working through things, even when things are tough. That's what marriage is about. All right? Love's gonna leave here and there. You come back, fall in love again. It, it no, listen, my grandmother, I, I hate to say this. I think that she was glad. Like I never, I seen her cry. I mean, so my granddaddy cry, died, didn't cry for the most part that I saw. She was totally okay with him, with him, with him dying. But, but, and I think that before he died, I believe there was a conversation they had a year ago that I wish I would have never married your ass. Something like that. On both ends. But they understood the marriage was bigger than them. There would be no nobody like myself today. I, I wouldn't have the strong values that I have today. If if my grandparents, because my, my, my dad was on crack. And, and my grandmother and my grandfather were the ones that held us together. They were probably out of love then. But they had a commitment to their family. See, that's what this is about. A lot of young people of today, you, you know, a lot of young people, you're soft. And you're weak. And I'm a fairly young man sitting at 39. A lot of y'all are soft, all right? And you think that whenever something tough comes around, here's your chance to run. When things come around that are tough, here's your chance to face it. 
and you stick to it. It's the same thing with these NBA players now and these teams and stuff. They're always looking to run to super team. Damian Lillard, I got a lot of respect for him. He said, I'm going to stick here and stick it out in Portland until we get better. If I don't win in Portland, I won't win anywhere. I like that. I love it. But a lot of women out here don't have that tenacity towards races. I think more men do. Men are more willing to stick it out, women or not. So what happens is, and what's going to happen with Latoya, she wants to go be for the streets. She wants to go fall in love again. Then she'll probably, well, she has three kids. So the, the possibility of her getting married like she did before is probably gone. To a guy that's going to contribute like Adam Ali, no chance. All right? But what she'll do is she'll get into another relationship with another guy and until those feelings fall out. Boom. She'll go to another guy, uh, to another guy, until she's old and wrinkled up and realize, like, you know what? Damn. After my window of all of this is done, I still don't have anybody. Is it the same case with Amber Rose? Holly Berry? Tamar Braxton? This is what they do. They continue to, 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 to jump in and out of relationships. And then your kids are affected because your, your parents are dumb. That's the thing. Like a lot of people um, in the black community, whether it's Canada or America, the kids don't deserve this. Like you being an idiot, that's your problem. Children are not your... See, the kids don't deserve that. Children don't deserve stupid parents. Parents who don't know what they're doing. Young kids. Taking the father out of the home, kids don't deserve it. All right? It's unfair. And then you wonder how many of our kids end up being so messed up. Because people want to be for the streets. People are chasing bags. You're chasing, you're not chasing, you're, you're, you're chasing thought, you're chasing the thought culture. And as you see with Cardi B, once you chase that, there's no coming back from that. Once you chase that like Meg the Stallion, there's no coming back from that. See, there's no coming back from that. And you sign your you sign your your, your papers for failure for everything. Then the kids follow suit. And then to blame it on the guy as if he's the guy that's toxic, I can guarantee you this. Mark my word. The guy out of Mali is gonna be able to find another woman. And stick with her. She will not be able to find another man. And trust me. He'll find another woman. She'll be hating on that woman. Believe it or not. Alright? She will. She'll be hating on that woman. Don't want the kids around the woman. While she's starting up with Lil Daryl. Trust me. I know how this works. This is what's going to be happening. She'll be starting up with Lil Daryl. Mad. Sandling it up, buffooning it up, thotting it up. Oh, so very well. Trust me. Trust me, I know this. All right? And then she'll be mad at him trying to be petty because he's moved on and she's happy. But, but then she is, you know, how can I say this? She'll be happy and all this stuff, but then, <laughs> well, how can we say this, guys? She'll be miserable. Like they always do. They always go and chase a new guy. Then the new guy comes. He's not committed as the old guy. Now you're mad at him. Like the, like, like, the, like Tamar and him is mad at, at David Edifeso. Mad at him for what? For what? Like, seriously, you cannot deal with the, the, your own choices. It's you causing these problems. You're the problem. You're going to find out Latoya's a problem because look who she's hanging around. Low-value people on reality shows who can't do anything. Money doesn't buy class. Fighting it up doesn't buy class. Candy Burris? It, I mean, that culture? Stop. I mean, she's doing good, but that whole little love and pop, no, no, absolutely not. Guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of
the celebrity jump subscribe hit the bell i really appreciate all that you do uh, check out the black men are perfect t-shirts there guys i really thank you for that check that out um check out all the stuff in my catalog the uh like i said black men are perfect t-shirts uh check out uh the patreon all the things that i'm doing here and as you know the buffoonery remains at an all-time high i'm out <laughs>